Welcome to today's uh, uh, lesson, rather tutorial. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to AutoCAD interface and I'm going to also show you uh, how to use the units in AutoCAD and we'll see, we'll learn a lot uh, more about AutoCAD in this tutorial. So make sure that you watch it up to the end. So uh, when you are using AutoCAD, the most important things that you need to have is the software itself. And then apart from the software, you need to have uh, a mouse which has three buttons, meaning it has the left and the right button. Uh, it also has a wheel in between. So you can't just use a mouse of a laptop. You, just, you, you need, um, I mean, a mouse at the trackpad of a laptop. You need an external mouse with uh, three buttons. So uh, when you open AutoCAD for the first time, and when you finish activating it and everything you have this so if you want to start a new drawing you can either go here and then click on new or you simply just click on this white button here which start which says uh, start drawing you click on this button so when you click on this it's going to take you directly to a 2d uh, space so this space is um, simply is normally used for 2d drawings uh, if you want to change to 3D, I'm going to show you as we um, um, as, as we proceed with these tutorials of AutoCAD. So this is just tutorial one about AutoCAD. I'm going. To, I'm also going to make two, three, four until we uh, cover most uh, of the things about AutoCAD. So um, yeah. So to start with, I'll introduce you to um, this button here. This is just. Uh, um, every application uh, comes with this button so it's called an application button so this one consists of a lot of uh, options here which are going to use uh, you can uh, start your new drawing open a drawing save save as import export publish print so I'm going to show you how all these work and then there's also this um, this area here this area you're seeing here this is called a quick access uh, button so this quick access button I simply just there for you to uh, instead of coming here you start um, a, a new what's this a new drawing here you, you simply just uh, just go direct and click there so it's called quick because you not have to click on this button for you to access these uh, 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 th these options here but you just uh, need to click one of these options here the, the same options that are here are also on this button so from there there's also this uh, ribbon here when you look at this part this tab here it consists of the home button it consists of the insert button annotate par parametric view uh, manage output add-ins a3 skiste express tools featured apps and everything so it, it consists of a lot of things so we're going to be looking at them um, uh, one by one so let's quickly go into uh, now looking at the what's this the the the, the other things there is also this uh, command button here so this command button is just there for you if for instance you want to uh, you, you want to call any fun uh, sorry not calling any function but if for instance you want to yeah you, you okay let me just use the for the sake of uh, for I mean for lack of better terms let me just use call. So if you want to call any of these uh, buttons here or anything that is not here, maybe it's uh, hidden somewhere in these uh, uh, buttons here, you can just uh, click just the first letter of that thing you want. For, for instance, if, I, uh, if I'm looking for a line, if I want a line button, I'll simply just um, uh, click L. So when I click L and press Enter, so my line will be activated. So you can see... Um, I even have uh, this blue thing here which has appeared uh, where so I'm going to click there this is a line so I'm, I can draw a line since I called a line um, option yeah so I'm going to show you what this green line and all these uh, angles you are seeing what they mean and how you use them so let's quickly proceed okay so yeah, I forgot about uh, I forgot to talk about this. So this is the starter uh, talk button. So this uh, button here will just help you to make uh, drawings accurate in AutoCAD. 
to for, for instance if you want to be drawing 90 degrees angles you just come on the um auto mode you click auto mode meaning wh when i click there sorry let me just uh if i want to activate any command in this uh ribbon here or rather in this tab here you just go on the line you click on the line if you want a polyline you click on polyline if you want a circle you click on circle and then you'll be able to draw a circle here so from there let's uh, okay let me start with the line first so i click on the line or if you want you can just uh type you can just type l on the keyboard yeah so these are commands are simply just um straightforward so if you want to escape the what's this the command you just click escape and then um from there w the other thing yeah i was talking about the author if you activate the auto excuse me the auto mood when you for instance want to activate the command for the line i'll click l on the keyboard l and then i say enter so it has brought my line there so i'm going to click for instance here if i want my line to start from there so since i've activated my author mood i can only be able to draw angles or rather the lines which are 90 degrees to each other so when i click there for instance if i if i want maybe a line that is 15 uh 15 what's this 15 uh, millimeters or centimeters depending with the units that you've set your autocad i'll show you uh how to set your units so so if i want to draw a line maybe that is uh of length 15 i'll just uh after clicking on the starting point there i'm going to just um uh write 15 i'm just going to type 15 15 1 5 you can see the 15 there it's written there so that 15 and then i'll press enter so that line is 15 so i can't draw any angle apart from a 90 degrees because i've activated what is called the author mood yeah so i can even go this side maybe i draw a line which is 10 then i'll press enter i'll go on top there i'll uh, i'll press 15 again enter then i'll go this side okay then i'll um, i'll go this side and then i'll press again that was a 10 yeah so you can see so i'll press enter again to escape the command pa then it has gone so if i want to for instance delete this i'll just come and highlight this i'll just you use the uh the the what is the left button to hi to highlight it you click using the left button and then you delete you yeah you press delete on your keyboard and then it will go so if i want to draw a line that is a uh, uh 10 uh, 10 10 units from our oh, that is just from this point to that point i can activate the line uh command there then i'll start you can see that green thing or that green uh uh yeah point there showing me to say this is where the line is starting from so if i want to zoom in or zoom out i'll simply just use uh the middle button here so the middle button here which is the wheel uh on your mouse is just going to it's just going to be helping you to zoom in and out and it can also be pressed in order to move your drawing let me first show you how to zoom so when i want to zoom this at this point i'll go there and then i'll zoom so i'll click on that point pa that's where the uh sorry for me for using pi i'm just used to these local languages you know so okay so i can go down and then i'll find the other line it has shown me to say these two lines are joining since it's green there so i'll click there again so if i want to exit my command there i'll just press enter so you can see our drawing there uh, so if i want to do it i mean highlight the lines i can just do that using the uh left uh clicking button so if i if for instance i want to highlight everything there is what is uh the you you click let me just click escape if i want to highlight everything you hold the left uh, the left button on your mouse and then you just uh, so the left button when you hold the left button this one is called the uh lesso um select this is called lesso selecting so uh lesso selecting yeah you've selected that so there is also another kind of selection which is uh uh which which is uh i would say a triangular or something but you hold the right button 
yeah so when you hold the right button wait okay okay you just click the left button you don't hold the right button but you just uh, click the left button once without holding it you just click it once and then you begin to move and then you move the mouse and then you click on the other side again it will select so yeah so you click like that you just make one selection one click and then you drop it down and then you do that to select everything if you want to exit your selection just click escape yeah so you escape that let's quickly move on to the next button which is just um, the polar tracking so polar tracking so if i want to exit this button i'll just go there and click there and then if you don't have what you are looking for here you can find it here you click there and then you just uh, make sure that it is ticked here so all these are important you can be using them and then there's also this one here there's also this one here which is called the polar tracking so polar tracking uh, look at what is going to be happening for instance when I get the line there um, okay wait let me just deactivate the these other commands okay before I go to other commands on this um, uh, on this uh, button let me show you another thing for instance if i want to draw a circle i'll click on the circle there or if not that i can just uh type c on my computer and then to bring me these uh uh options and then i'll go on the circle so if i want to draw a circle here i'll click there then it will start growing so what you are seeing in blue there the numbers those numbers changing there that is the radius so that is the radius and then you can now do as is you can um you can uh what is you can uh insert the radius there just by typing the size of the radius that you want so for instance if i want a circle with radius 12 i'll just type 12 there then i'll click enter so that's the circle so if i want to move this circle um first let me zoom out using a wheel in between so if i want to move this uh uh circle I want to move this circle i'll just uh left click it on it i'll just left click on it and then i'll move it down like that so now if i want to select everything i'll just uh, click the left button once and then i'll go down like that and then select and then if i want to move them i'll hold the left button and then move them to the next point like that so now if i want to m maybe put uh, this uh, drawing uh, properly if i want to put the drawing properly i'll just click on the middle uh, wheel button here on the middle wheel on the mouse you just uh, hold it when you hold it it will bring something like a hand when you hold it you can see i can move my drawing uh, in whichever direction i feel like so you hold it that's why it's important for you to have a mouse which contains uh the three buttons so if i want to join these uh three lines these lines to make one line so that it's just a continuous line you can see what is happening when i go on one line there it's uh, showing me to say this line is uh, separate from the other so meaning if i want i can even separate it i can put it there i can move it to that because it's one but when you look at the circle it's showing me to say all oh, this circle is just one line so if i want to make this uh, uh uh rectangle if i want to make this rectangle to be one line as well i can just select uh, all the lines there you can select all the lines and then you press j on the bar uh, on, on your keyboard so when you press j it's going to bring this this option which is join and then when you join you can see it has now become one so if I want, I can also join the circle and the, and the rectangle so that they just become one. You just click them so that when you're moving, you're just moving it as one. Okay. So apart from that, what else can I talk about here? Uh, so here on circles, you can see if you want, you can draw a circle and then just enter the radius of the circle. You, uh, you get a circle like what you did. But in, if you want, you can draw a circle. You can click there to bring you an option where you uh, you put the starting point and then 
it will ask you to say specify the diameter so you can be checking on this uh, command here it all it always gives you directions on what to do next so it's saying specify radius of the circle or diameter so the second uh, option that i clicked on here i can draw a circle based on its radius and uh, its radius or its uh, diameter uh, sorry or based on its center and the diameter yeah so from that you can also draw a circle using its diameter by having two points you can also draw a circle using three points you can also draw a circle using uh, the radius and the tangents uh, you can also draw a circle using three tangents there's no problem so it depends with what you want or with what you've been given in the question and then apart from that there are also these other options i'm going to explain what they mean there's also this text option and then dimensions you you can also click there okay i'm going to show you the dimensions how you uh put them okay let me just go back to the line option then we see what else what else i'll show you all this but first i just want to introduce you to the basic things yeah to the most important things because the basic the foundation is very important than the roofing so what is important is you knowing the first few things here yeah so all these things i'm, I'm going to be showing you how they work when we start uh uh drawing uh we, when we start making certain drawings yeah so for now let me sh let me show you how these other things work so here i said uh, this part uh helps you to make your drawing uh more accurate yeah so let's uh move on to the other one here okay so let's quickly move on to oh we're on this one so this one helps you for instance when i'm i'm using the line option here the line command you can see this green uh line which is appearing there's a green line which is appearing there so if i want to draw maybe for instance uh uh the angle which is if i want to be drawing maybe angles which are maybe 30 degrees or 90 degrees you can just come here and then you align so you can be if you if more especially if you're using a special angles like maybe okay not l let me not say special angles but uh these angles which are here which are maybe in multiples of five multiples of 10 multiples of 15 multiples of 18 multiples of 23 multiples of 30 yeah so if you want angles maybe for instance uh 45 degrees if you want that uh, green line to be appearing whenever you are at 45 degrees you go on uh, you click 45 there so meaning when, when it appears like that i know to say the angle there is 45 starting from the uh, zero x-axis this side and, and then um, if i go on top meaning it's going to be at 90 from 90 i'm going to 135 from 135 to 180 from 180 it goes like that so whenever i reach um a, a multiple of 45 it's going to be showing me it's going to be uh the green line is going to be appearing so this is the uh this is how this works so if i want i can change this to 30 degrees so whenever i reach 30 degrees to be, to be appearing like that you can see that if this is 30 the following the following the i mean the one that is going to fall is going to be 60 from 60 to be 90 from 90 120 150 and then 180 so that is how this works so the other way you can draw angles if you don't want to use this for instance if the angle that you are drawing is not here you can just say you can say if it's not um uh, powered on if it's off you can see that it's not giving me any green line apart from when i reach a 90 where yeah a straight line a 90 and the reason why it's showing 90 I will tell you yeah I'll show you it's because uh, and anyway, I'll explain first so uh, if you want to draw an angle you simply click control and then immediately after M on your keyboard here there is uh, this um, less than symbol you click that less than symbol and then uh, okay let me do this you you click control and then less than symbol I don't know why it's not um, why it's not appearing okay 
okay let's draw another line like that then let's try to draw an angle so we'll do this okay so we we'll say control and then the less than symbol it's not appearing what's the problem okay i think it's not control we you press shift yeah so you say shift and then the less than symbol and then uh you enter the value of your angle maybe if you want um uh 15 degrees i'll press 15 there and then i'll click enter so it will be at 15 there you can see what is happening there yeah so it's only 15 so i can't go this side i can't go anyways it will only be at 15 and then I will specify the distance now of this um, line. Maybe I say 10. Yeah, so that is how it's going to be. So from there, I can draw another angle, which is maybe going this side or this other side, depending on the angle that I want. Which angle do I want? Maybe 133 degrees. So 133 degrees, I'll say shift and then click this same uh, symbol, which is the less than symbol. I'll say shift click the symbol and then i'll enter 133 and then that is the angle there so from there you can see what is happening then i can enter the distance maybe 20 so now i don't know whether it's 20 millimeters 20 centimeters 20 inches i don't know so how do i know or how do i change the units you simply just uh come here on the command and then type units Ty just type u and then n you can see these um uh units here so you can click there so when you click there you can change this whether you whether architecture which is the length type whether it can either be architecture engineering fraction or scientific but uh i would i would advise you to just leave it in decimal so decimal and then the precision you can just put 0 0.00 then from there here you can either use inches uh, feet you can use miles millimeters centimeters so i think let's use um uh let's use centimeters yes let's use centimeters you can also use meters depending on the drawing that you've been given and then here is international and then in decimal degrees it's just okay then precision you can also put it 0 0.00 and then you this is how you set your units and then you just click OK. So meaning everything that you are going to start drawing will be in uh, centimeters as we have said. And then apart from that, there is also other there are also other buttons here which I'm going to explain. Like um, like the okay the dynamic input uh, button. So I am sure maybe some of you who are watching the video have experienced this. Uh, for instance, let me use the line option there if maybe for instance you are drawing a line if you are drawing a line and then you can see this um uh this uh these numbers which are changing let me just put it orthogo uh, what's this auto mode sorry and then you can see these um this blue these numbers in blue which are changing if you don't have this option you can just um go on this side then uh, click on dynamic uh, input where is dynamic dynamic input there so when you click on it it's active there you can see it's, it's already in blue so if i click on that they will disappear so just in case you don't have them but dynamic input uh not really helps when you're drawing drawings when you're making drawings sorry. so you are going to uh, use it because it will allow you to put uh what's this to put direct figures for instance if i want to enter if i want to draw a straight line in this direction which is about uh, uh maybe 35 centimeters i'm going to write it as i'm just going to type 35 on the keyboard 35 and it has drawn the line if i want to draw a line going up which is 25 i'll just type on the keyboard 25 that is how it works going this side again 35 going down yeah you can see what is happening okay so you can press enter to exit the command 
then you can click that to delete 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 so there are a lot of things that we can learn here there's also this um offset there are also this rectangular alley there are also there are a lot of things that we can learn but we'll be learning them as we are going to be doing uh practicals bit by bit so thank you very much uh for today's uh uh introduction to autocad i'm sure you've gotten at least one or two things so as we proceed uh, uh having examples and exercises we'll be making use of all these uh things here i'll be showing you how they work and uh, how they operate including all these uh uh, options that you are seeing here all these commands you are seeing here in the tab so thank you very much for watching let's um uh let's uh what's this? i'll send uh, an exercise yeah i'll send an exercise so that you can try at least to make one or two things i'll just tell you to draw just a few things yeah thank you very much see you in the next video